Today I thought I'd do a little bit of an interesting video, and I know it's deviating a little bit from the content of my channel, but I really enjoy watching unboxing videos, especially when it comes to tools, and my grandfather recently left me some of his tools, and I just thought as showing a sign of respect to him, and also showing my appreciation for, you know, passing tools down to your family, and and just kind of learning a little bit about tools themselves. I thought I'd just do this video with you. Haven't gone through anything in here, so I thought it'd be a fun thing to kind of open it up together, talk about some tools, and uh, welcome any thoughts, comments, or feedback you have in the comment section below as we go through it. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Before we get to the actual contents, I just want to talk about the toolbox itself. Now I know, you know, toolboxes like this are kind of going out of style. They have the new packouts, things on wheels, things that are more portable, and I've even shown you in one of my other videos, which I'll put in the top right corner, that having a tool chest or a toolbox is kind of nicer than one of these kind of smaller plastic portable ones. But I must say, especially as um, maybe you get your own place and you want a set of tools inside so you don't have to go out to the garage or your shed or wherever they are, that maybe you house most of your tools, or even maybe if you're just getting started, I would say that having one of these boxes is really handy, and it can be used for so many other things beyond just tools, whether it's medical supplies for trips, um, camping equipment. I definitely have changed my opinion on these toolboxes as I've found uses of them. So definitely that's one thing to consider with these toolboxes is, although yes, maybe they're not as favorable, they definitely still have their place and they definitely can be used. And looking forward to using this in the house, maybe upstairs, so I have something that I can easily access and have some tools. But let's actually jump into the insides and see what we got. So, there we go. Already a whole hodgepodge of different things. Let's kind of take things out and maybe I'll put this to the side here and we can kind of just look at things one by one to really appreciate what we're seeing. First thing here, a nice aluminum torpedo level. Looks like it also has a ruler on it for a, you can see level, plumb, you can check things in there as they are in a 45. Always handy to have a different sizes of ruler, or excuse me, levels. That way if you want to check something small or you know something obviously larger, it's helpful to have an assortment of different levels and also nice to, especially for something in the house, nice to have these smaller ones so you can do things like picture hanging and things like that. Scissors. Now, as you'll soon realize, um, as you start to work on things more and more, how helpful it is to just use common household things like a butter knife, a spoon, scissors and soon especially if you're living with someone they might not be too keen to you using their nice pair of scissors or a knife or what have you in your shop so when you can especially at garage sales or you know rummage sales or things where you know maybe there's a good deal on office supplies that's a good time to get things like this that are handy like cutting open boxes or those ridiculous plastic um, containers for different things that they're now trying to keep very secure. This will sometimes do the job better than anything else. Ah. A whole host of Allen keys. Now, it says that we have, what does it look like? We have our metric here, and we have some standard here. Now, what are the odds that these are actually in the right pouches? Likely small, but as you remember my toolbox video, I have Allen keys all over the place. So to have a set that's all in a convenient container, I am going to definitely enjoy that. And I'm going to try and actually keep it organized. So talk about handy. Love Allen keys. Next thing. And I, you know, I, I kind of laugh at things like this because it always gives you um, something to think about when someone has their toolbox, just in the the kind of things that maybe they worked on or that they use commonly. And my uh, grandfather didn't ride, uh, do any cattle riding or need any use for uh, a saddle soap, but definitely maybe for taking care of leather or things like that. Um, so, you know, just kind of cool to 
to see the things he used. So, not sure if I'll be needing that anytime soon, but again, why not? And let's see what we have here. We have some uh, slip joint pliers, or I guess water pump pliers. Um, doesn't look like a special brand here. Looks like it lost the handles, but I love pliers. I mean, as an extension of your hand, there's just so many uses. Whether it's grabbing something, getting into a tight space, uh, holding something while you apply some heat to it. Not with these ones, because there isn't anything to protect your hands from the metal, but always handy to have an assortment of pliers. Let's see what else we have in here. A nice hefty square. Let's see if I can see a brand name on there. Looks like Swanson. Always can use those. We got some no name linesmen's. Could use a little bit of working to get them going. Uh, oh, now these are neat. These are for getting you measurements of diameters. So they're actually, excuse me, these are drill gauges. So that way if you find a drill bit, you're not entirely sure what it is and you want to keep them organized, you can slip it in there and you can get an idea of what size it is. I don't know if I'll have the patience to go through uh, taking enough time to measuring them all out and putting them in the right place, but really handy in case you ever want to identify a bit and maybe make sure you have the right size for what you're doing. And you can see they're made in the USA, so definitely excited about those. And I keep saying that, but man, you can... Tell I, I love tools. Always got to have some old wrapping. Looks like this. We have a nut driver. Nothing too fancy there. Uh, next thing we have staple gun. Now, staple guns are come in very... Uh, handy for so many things however the only hard part about them is when the spring wears in there that holds the the actual staples this spring can wear so actually one one tip that I'll share with you is when you store these you actually want to take out the spring from the mechanism because as that spring is depressed this wears down and your staple gun won't work so I actually don't know if this one will work maybe I'll give it a, a shot here but uh, these don't last sometimes if their uh, springs are under tension. So just be aware of that, that if you leave it in your toolbox, that it might not survive. Found some more staples here. Looks like this has an Amazon barcode in it, so maybe there's some hope that that, uh, it looks, that stapler looks fairly new, so who knows. Another fun oddity here, looks like we have a compass. That can attach on something so who knows with the advent of cell phones especially smartphones it's hard to to need something like this but I guess if your battery goes dead this will definitely work better than a dead phone uh, what else do we have here some looks like some Chinese sockets again nothing too fancy but nice to have a container where you can have them all in one place easily accessible uh, screwdriver I doubt it's snap-on but probably uh, uh, I don't know any of you guys that might know especially with these I feel like there, there's a lot of similarity between them maybe where they came from like a Kmart or something I don't see any brand names but if you gentlemen or you ladies know let me know in the comments below some more needle nose or some more pliers here love Needle nose are my second favorite. I love water pump pliers, but man, needle nose. There's if you can't do it with those two pliers, you're in trouble. Clamps, a little C clamp here. Always I'm I'm always finding a use for a C clamp, whether it's holding something up, holding something together, uh, squeezing.
squishing stuff. A C clamp is, is a wonderful thing to have. Uh, looks like another little tray of sockets here. These ones are uh, some standard SA. Those are those are the SAE sockets. Uh, stubby screwdriver. Yep, that looks like a Harbor Freight one. This. I feel like this might. I'm not entirely sure if it's something for marking. Like when you do woodworking, if you wanted to, to mark your woodworking, or if it's for caulking. I guess if you're quite creative enough, it can be used for both, but that one I have to double check on. I think it's a, it could be a scribing tool. I don't know. Uh, let's see here. Looks like another one. Uh, what is this? Looks like it's a, it's definitely seen better days, but this looks like an awl. It's a little bit worn down on the top, but let's see if there's anything on the inside here. Oh, it looks like, oh, it's a punch. Maybe it's a punch. Looks like there's another bit in there. And let's see what's in this one. Nothing in that one. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking this is actually a, a punch. Looks like it's had a fair beating there on the back. Let's see what's next here. Uh, we have some more staples. A little file here. Let's see, is there anything on this one? This one feels pretty, pretty skookum. We have this one's made in the USA by. I'm trying to see if I can read that. Nicholson to do a little bit of research on that one, but great condition. Get rid of the uh, got a bunch. Oh, actually, <laughs> look at that. It's Nicholson. This is the original packaging. Look at that. Look at that. I wonder if it tells us the price. Wouldn't that be fun? Hmm. Pretty cool. Bit holder. Looks like some just your flathead Phillips. Nothing too crazy fancy there. Some utility blades. Tester. Huh. I've not seen this little getup. Looks like we have some drywall anchors with some screws and a convenient tube. And I spoke too soon. We have a couple of rogue Allen keys, so I'll have to put those in a little bag. All right. Well, that was the top little container. Let's let's kind of move into the the next level here. So here we got a little bag of goodies. Looks like two wrenches for I assume a table saw for changing out the the blade on the arbor. And that looks like that's what those are. I have a brand new extension cord. Look at that. Guessing that's probably Harbor Freight. Yep, Harbor Freight tools. Wonder how old that is. Probably not too old, but. Huh. Can never not have too many extension cords. 
We have some blades here. Sanding square here. A whole host of screwdrivers. Let's see. Oh man. Hmm. I wonder who he got this from. That one's actually a... Not a screwdriver. I'm trying to see if I can get all the screwdrivers out. Drivers in there too. Look at that. Anybody know where that's from? Let's see. No name. But I kind of like the like the fill. Looks like we got a complete set. Screwdriver. Ooh, a nut driver. Hmm. I think that might be it for our uh, screwdrivers. But if there's one thing that is good to have lying around the house, especially in your junk drawer or however many junk drawers you have, is a set of a Phillips and a flathead screwdriver because you just always need something for that. So those two tools can solve. All right, moving on here. Looks like we have another tool here to give us the size of bowl heads. And look at those, 30 seconds. Won't be using this too much, but it's always when you get rid of that tool, you'll need it. Let's see what's here. A nice metal hacksaw. The ones I have are all plastic, so I'm kind of excited to have something more robust, hopefully. Another screwdriver here. Look at those. Nice set of linesmen's. And I don't think I mentioned this already, but my, my grandfather, he uh, wasn't a tradesman. He uh, just you know, was a, a guy that liked to work in his shop and Fix things as needed, so have a nice hammer here with a beautiful wooden handle. Great feel. We have a, uh, a newer hammer here. Let's see where this one's from. I don't know where that one's from. Looks like we have another one here. Just can tell whoever used this definitely worked with a hammer before. Great feel in the hands. Ah, my favorite type of hammer, ball peen hammer. Look at this, nice little ratchet. Definitely could use a little love. I can make a video on that, but I 
just left you know, like a nice small little ratchet there. All right, we're starting to get out of, out of space here, but we're also getting closer to the end. And it looks like I found the, the kit here. I don't know if my grandfather used this set at all, but looks like we have a full set, including the 10 millimeter. Look at that. Doesn't even look like that ratchet saw any work. Hmm. Look at that. <laughs> Talk about a whole bunch of new things and all in their packaging. Wonder where Project inspired this. That's another cool thing about tools is not only is it is it fun to collect them, but it's also especially when they come from your own family. Fun to figure out the the story, the history behind, you know. What inspired the need for this tool? Or was it for making money? Was it for that task to get done? Got an old pair of vice grips here. You know, and the tools that I've collected, it's always funny to me how often I'll find, uh, you know, a whole bunch of no brand name tools, but I'll always find when it comes to vice grips for the most part, except for this, of course, case an actual pair of vice grip brand tool. Uh, safety Sally might be concerned here. We have a, a knife here with no uh, way to retract the blade. That's the other thing too, especially when you're going through tools, make sure you are very slow because you just never know when a utility knife might have been thrown in there and cut you open. Nice Stanley utility blade. Look at that. Nice adjustable wrench from Cobalt. For those of you who don't know, that's uh, Lowe's brand. What we got here. Long pair of pliers. Long pair of slip joint pliers. have a coping saw here so this is for doing fine woodworking work <laughs> making very tailored cuts also from looks like cobalt let's see here what is next um, looks like we have some o-rings so those will go in my little parts bin I am very bad at throwing things away especially when it comes to usable parts. Have an adjustable wrench with the, the sticker still on it. I wonder if this is metric or standard. Oh, looks like it's metric. That was a joke in case you couldn't tell. Hmm. A stud finder. My dad had one of these exact ones. I don't know if he still has it. Oh. It Still works too. Look at that. Stud finder. Now this, you all have to help me out in the comments with what this is. Obviously it's a screwdriver, but I'm wondering if it was just some maybe multi-tool that you put this in something and you could use it like a wrench. Or maybe it was just designed to be like this where you could screw something in and then for that one bolt size you have, use it. I don't know, maybe somebody knows. Maybe this was a, a gimmick tool that came out from some infomercial, or maybe I'm just missing something. But if you know what this is or where it came from, let me know. And then we have a double end wrench here, 5 eighths and 9 sixteenths. Looks like Chinesium. Oh no, hold the phone. Looks like that is a USA made wrench. Pardon that. Uh, another homeless Allen key. Temporarily homeless, I guess I should say. And let's see what else we have here. Another, I don't know. I, almost, I feel like it's a caulking tool, but it could just be a scribing tool. 
it looks like we, well, most of the tools made it. We had one that didn't. Now I believe, don't quote me on this, I almost thought this was a mason's hammer, but I have not seen this split edge before. So again, share your wisdom if you know what this is. Love to, to do some restoration on this so I can get the tight fit, even if I won't use it. Love for my kids to, to have this one day. Um, let's see, got some Teflon tape for your all your plumbing repair needs. And lastly, <laughs> look at that. Talk about a very random thing. This is a flexible shaft for a Dremel tool. So you put one end on your Dremel and you can get to anywhere you like with this thing. So, wow. Never thought I'd see this, but that will be a great addition to the collection. It looks like we have another really beefy pair of linesmen's beautiful USA and man you can really feel the difference in old USA made tools if you don't believe me go to a garage sale a flea market anything like that looking for these vintage tools you will not be disappointed and it looks like pegboard hanger won't be needing that. Actually, excuse me, this looks like it's a caulking removal tool. Smart caulk. I don't know how good this thing is, but I guess we'll have to try it out and make sure it's not a gimmick. Well, that's the whole tour. Um, I know it wasn't much, but I do appreciate you watching. And of course, any of your feedback comments or any help in identifying some of these tools i would really appreciate it i'm learning just as much as everyone else so uh, again thank you so much for watching supporting the channel it means a lot to me it's crazy how much this channel has grown and i appreciate all of you for for supporting it thanks for watching check out some of my other videos and i'll catch you in the next one